Hi everyone. I use Ksplice Updrag for updating the Linux kernel without rebooting. Ksplice Updrag treats distribution kernel updates in a way that makes them installable during operation without rebooting. Ksplice is a commercial service. I just want to demonstrate how this works on my systems and I have no relationship to the Ksplice company itself, other than being their customer. Ksplice have sent this email today regarding a number of fixes for the kernel on Ubuntu 10.4 LTS. These were released by Ubuntu the day before yesterday and are now prepared for installation without reboot. I'm already logged on via SSH to one of the target systems. Before applying the case plies updates, I simply update the system as usual. It's important to actually install the new kernel from the regular distribution update package, as this is the one that will become active after the next reboot. The kernel that is currently running will however be updated in memory by case plies uptrack after I'm done with the regular updates. I have heard that Ksplice offer a GTK GUI to manage the updates, but as this is a server, I'm fine with the command line. The video of update installation is a bit accelerated here, as this took a few minutes. Just like on every other Linux system, I can use uname to see the kernel version that was in place when the system was booted. Uptrack show lists the rebootless updates that have been installed since then. With uptrack uname that's a modified uname command, I can see the effective version of the kernel that's currently in place based on all the updates that have been applied. I can now actually apply the latest upgrades using uptrack upgrade. As I already said, with Uptrack the system needs to be updated just as usual. The only difference is that it doesn't need to be rebooted to activate a newly installed kernel. It happened to me once that Uptrack upgrade, uh, sorry, Uptrack upgrade needed some help while upgrading something related to the RBD, the distributed replicated block device. In order to work around this, I had to briefly disconnect the DRBD devices that were actually in use there. But as you can see, everything worked fine today. At the end of the Uptrack upgrade, we see the new effective kernel version. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching.